Hi guys, welcome to Linksar YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to work with chatter command in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the lab session, we have to understand a few points which is what is chatter command and how does it work. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a demo file for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is uh, my demo file for you. This is a uh, little bit information related chatter command. So chatter means change attribute. This, it is a high level security or advanced permission of any file or directory in Linux operating system. It is used to set or insert certain attributes to a file in Linux system to secure accidental deletion or modification of important files and folders. So let's talk about the, some common attributes of chatter command. So here it is a chatter attributes and operator. If a file is set with a small a attribute, that means it can only be open in append mode for writing. If the file is set with a small i attribute, it means it cannot be modified. It's a kind of unchangeable or immutable. Means no renaming, no symbolic link creation, no execution, no writable. Only super user can insert that attribute. For complete list of all files attribute and flag, we have the option we can type man chatter command in Linux terminal and grab the all the information from there. Let's talk about some operator. So the value of the operator part can be one of the following symbols. Plus symbol means add the attributes to the existing file or existing attribute of the files. Minus means remove the attributes to the existing attributes of the files. And is equal to means keep the existing attributes that the file has. Okay, so this is uh, that is all uh, small intro of chatter command. Now without wasting the time, let's move to the lab session. So I'm back on my terminal. And if you want to grab more information, you have the option you can go with man and chatter. So you can get the, all the information from here. Change the file attributes on Linux file system. Okay. So now, first of all, uh, this is my uh, tested virtual machine. And here I have login with as a root user. So first of all, I will show you the OS release version of this machine. I have the command cat etc os release. So guys, you can see that currently I'm using rel 8.0. Okay, so I started with my first point, which is how to add attribute on files. So uh, for this, I make a data file. So I started with vi emitter main, uh, just make a file name could be anything. I said file one. Okay, just write some data, go to the insert mode, type some data. I said, I love Linux. Save and cut from there. Okay, now let's see and verify the content of this file using cat command. So I can go with cat and file one, I can read the content. Okay, great. To set the attribute, we can use plus symbol and to unset use minus symbol with the chatter command. So let's set the immutable bit on this file with plus i flag to prevent anyone from deleting a file. Even a root user don't have permission to delete it. Okay, so what with the command? Command would be chatter plus i and the file name simple it's very easy great done after setting the immutable bit let's verify the attribute with the command that is ls chatter and run the file name file one here we can see that i attribute set on file one now i try to delete the forcefully or if i try to rename the file or change the permission let's see what happened so i say rm hyphen rf and remove the file one oops Operation not permitted. Suppose I want to rename the file name file1 to file2. Again, operation not permitted. Let's see what happens if I try to modify the permission or assign the new permission. File1. Look at that. Operation not permitted. So guys, this is how we... I can't do that because it won't allow. It says operation not permitted. So this is how you can set the immutable attributes on particular file or even you can set on the directory also. Okay, now the point how to unset the attributes on file. So in the previous example, we have seen how to set attribute to secure and prevent files from the accidental deletion. Here in this example, we will see how to reset permissions and allows to make a file changeable using minus i flag. So the command would be simple chatter plus i now replace plus with minus minus i. Done. Now let's verify the status of file using again lstl command. See, it's gone. We can see the, the file hyphen i flag removed. 
okay so now move to the next point which is how to append the data without modifying the existing data file suppose you only want to allow anyone to just append the data on a file without changing or modifying already entered data you can use a attribute as follows so the command would be i said chatter again and this time i use plus a small a and the file name let's verify the entry one more time c now we can see append mode is set to the file now i can only append the data cannot modify it or cannot insert it one more time see i say echo uh, just add new line save and two time appending okay and the file one press enter great let's see with the cat command cat and the file one look at that here you can see i can append the data but let's see what happen when i try to replace existing content okay so again i go with the same echo and let's try replace content and this time i use only one that means i want to just add it see operation not permitted so now i can only append the data now move to the next point which is how we can secure to the entire directory to secure the entire directory and its file we have the option we can use capital r that means recursively switch with small i or small a file along with the full path of the folder so let's see i make a directory mkdir data move to the directory try to make some file touch file one file two okay that's sufficient for me i cut from there and uh, i run the simple command chatter capital r plus i and the directory name data right so let's verify the data directory attribute status so we have the command lstl and this time for directory use minus d and the directory name that is data see look at that i flag and similarly if you just know the information about the particular files inside the data folder you have the option just type lstl and the data look at that file 1 and file 2 see i attribute set on the directory as well as all the file after setting recursively attribute let's try to delete the folder and its files let's see what happen if i try to remove rm hyphen rf and the data it give me error even if i try to remove the particular file i can't do that sorry it's file 1 look at that or file 2 look at that okay so guys this is how we can uh, use chatter command in linux and if you now got the more information about the chatter you have the option you can go with man command and here it's a lots of information are available means you can uh, use lots of attribute small uh, capital a and it is it is basically used for the access time compressed if you want to use compressed you can go with c if you want a no dumping feature you can use small d and similarly we have p and s and hierarchy and t type and uh, no telling merging that is t so that's all about of this video and uh, finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing and if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye